M0FXP, welcome to my channel. We're on the uh, ID52. We're looking at the programming cloning software. So I'll put the link in the description. So here we are. It's called the CS52 version 1.20. And my radio has been updated to the latest version of the 1.20. So we're gonna, we've downloaded it already. And we've got the file here, the zip. And we've sent it to my um, a file on my PC. So we'll go to that, if we can find it, there it is. Uh, where has it gone? We're gonna find it here. One second. Oh, I know what it is, we've already run it. So let's uh, let's just run it again so you can see what it looks like. So go download, there it is there. And then when you run it, double click here, and then look, you've got like a little setup XC here. And you click yes, and it will set it all up. We've already got it. So we'll cancel it. Finish. Oh, it's uninstalled it now. That's typical, isn't it? Let's see if it has. Yeah, it's definitely uninstalled it. So, well, set it up again. So there you go. Click yes. Now, there's a first time setup on these radios. English, next. They call it the initial setup, when you decide how you're gonna connect. I was curious to know if it would connect via Bluetooth, but we'll test that in a minute. Right, so we've got it. So we'll go start, and then, where has it gone? There it is there, initial setup. So just show you that again. Start, initial setup. Click that, and it's gonna open up. So what I'm gonna do is plug in the USB cable from my PC, it's a normal micro USB cable from my PC um, to get the COM port up, which I think will be nine. One sec. Okay, always being careful not to get it in the wrong way around. So, COM9 is already shown. Now, you could just, I could take the, tell it to use the micro SD card, but I'm using the cable, so. Click OK, and hopefully it's going to connect. So the best way to test is to read the radio. So let's go read transceiver. And if you see, the transceiver's gone into clone out. So there's not loads on there, but I have put a CSV file on there. There you are, it's rebooted. So let's have a look what's in these things. So memory channel, look, um, literally, virtually nothing. <laughs> Group memory, skip channels, core channels, scan edge, program, DTMF memory. And I know I put one in there. Yeah, that's in there for hubnet. FM radio, no, no memory on that. Common settings, so you've got all these set mode, remote mic, just the usual things in the menu. What else we got here? Memory channel, group name, skip call channel, program edge. Yeah, well that's it really. I'm trying to click everything that we can find. Oh, where's the DR things? I definitely got a CSV file in there. Let's try to find that. Uh, da, 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 group name. What's that? Now oh, this is all the Japanese stuff. Yeah, I did find the Repeat a list in the end, so it's all here. What's in there? Let's go to try to get this a bit wider. So you got the group names, United Kingdom. I did put a, at least, yeah a couple of my hotspots in there. So you, if you double, I'll just double click one. And have we gone too far? Let's move it over a bit. That's a bit better, isn't it? So you can see everything in there. You can change that. 
That was under digital. GPS, common settings, A and B settings, digital, GPS, da da da, FM radio memory, group names. We haven't really created any groups. You know, we could name A, couldn't we? Call it Andreas group. There you go. Like so. We could... Let's have a look. Can we go into that group? Now we can name frequency megahertz. Not really sure because it's got all the Japanese stuff on there. So yeah, just showing you how to connect to it for now. If you've got an ID51, it's going to work the same as that. I bet you I can get a file from my 51 and um, put it onto this, this, you know, this. Hmm, I wonder if I could, let's just try it. Go file, open, because I'm pretty sure I've got my 51 somewhere in here. Um, let's Icon 51 plus 2. No, no, there's no file in there. So I think what I'll do is I'll grab my 51 file and I'll, we'll test it. I think we'll do that another time, that one. So, uh, yeah, 7.3, all the best.